What's going on guys? I know it has been quite a long time since I've done a video. I haven't seen you guys in a while and I apologize for that. Life happens from time to time and sometimes you gotta handle responsibilities before you can get back to the fun. But we're here today to get back to the fun. And one of the things today I'm pretty freaking excited about actually is this, the P365 X Macro. I'm pretty happy to do this video pretty excited about it because of the reason that I, I've been carrying my entire life. I've been a Glock fanboy my whole life. Like my whole life, guys. I, I'm talking like from Glock 19, carried a Glock 17 for a while, Glock 19X, Glock 43X. So yeah, you see I've got my 43X right here as well. I've just brought it out for comparison. So other than showing comparison and uh, bear with me guys, there's a lot of road noise happening, but I'm trying to get some stuff done early. So you're just gonna have to deal with it and deal with me. I hope you guys like me enough to deal with that. So, and also the washout, because the, the sun's killing me, but we'll be okay. It's, it's only like 74 degrees out right now. So we've got to, couldn't ask for a better day to be honest with you. But yeah, like I was saying, so these are almost, almost identical in size. Um, so, but as you guys probably are familiar, the 43X itself, um, does not come standard with any type of awesome mags at all. It comes with California compliant, boo, 10 round mags. Nobody that is not in California, Colorado, anywhere that's restricted, all those other states, nobody wants 10 round mags. I don't even know why they made them. I think it was a cheap cop out in my opinion. They could have made something better. Shield Arms answered that call and made these mags right here, the S15 mags. So, you know, you can get 15 plus one. So we're not gonna be using this anymore today. Not anymore at all. So now we are gonna be using this. Only this in this video. This gun right here comes with your ported slide that fits over the barrel itself. You come optic cut ready, 17 plus one standard mags. Comes with two mags. So 17 plus one capacity and Honestly, some people have said that they don't really like the triggers on these guns. Personally, I do really like them a lot. Um, I did notice afterwards that supposedly there's a, 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 a model of this sold with the safety, uh, thumb safety. I kind of wish I would have got the model with the thumb safety, but it is what it is. I mean, if I have to pull this gun on someone, it's probably, you know, it's probably going to be used, unfortunately, for them. Um, so that's, you know, it's not like I really need one. So, um, but... We've got uh, quite a few targets out back here. Uh, you guys might recognize where I'm at. Some of you might, some of you might not. Doesn't really matter where I'm at. Um, but it's easy access right here. So I'm gonna be able to pop some of these targets for you guys, get them painted, get them popped back up, and then show you maybe we will run a mag through the 43X just to show the difference. Maybe we won't, we probably won't because I don't really honestly care for it that much anymore. I have became addicted to this SIG, the P365X. And before we get shooting, I want to go ahead and I want to thank the people that are responsible for making this video happen. I went on down to Moss Pawn and Gun when I was, it was, it was my birthday actually, it was September 2nd. So you guys know my birthday next year, you guys can wish me a happy birthday, birthday with brass. But I went down there and I was already planning on getting this gun and they really, really hooked me up. Great, great, great price. Could not have asked for a better price. I freaking love them. If you guys go in, Michelle is awesome, Ryan's awesome, anybody that's in there is awesome, Ray is awesome. If you need your gun fixed, Ray can get you fixed. If you need to talk to somebody that can sell you something that you don't even need, you, you don't even know you need yet, Ryan is your man. He will definitely sell you something that catches you. You, you won't even see it there and he'll just pluck it out and he'll be like, here you are, sir. The precious. And next thing you know, you'll be in love with something like this. So. Like I said, big, huge, giant thank you to them. They're probably one of our the channel's biggest uh, supporters and they definitely contribute to a lot of what we do. So we wanna send a huge shout out to them, big thanks. And if you guys are in the Atlanta metro area, especially like around Terra Boulevard-ish, Jonesboro area, definitely go check them out because you will not be disappointed. They have a much larger selection than any standard pawn shop that you walk into. They might as well just change their name to gun shop, but who knows? So. Let's get this camera moved around and let's go. All right, guys, we're about to get to popping here. I just wanted to make sure to let, I heard this giant semi truck coming. I was just like, we gotta go ahead and let him come on by. I can hear him coming like from far away. You're gonna keep hearing more, but you know, it is what it is. So, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and run two of the 17 round mags through this thing. 
Um, I want to go ahead and point out just in my opinion that I think that these mags, the springs in these mags might be one of the first things to wear out and cause issues with this setup itself. Um, they feel kind of spongy and I've only had this gun for like, I mean, it's, it's the shit, it's the 13th. Just flagged myself with the guns empty. I mean, whatever. It's the 13th um, and birthday was the second. So I've only had this gun for 11 days and I can feel, like I feel personally like the spring is getting a little spongy already. Um, so we're just gonna go ahead and gotta really slam those mags down in there for some weird reason. Probably because they're so damn full. But um, these targets are a little closer than I would personally prefer, but I can't move this thing back any further. So I'm gonna just walk my way out and then you guys can make your own determination of what you think of it based off of my shots. Oh, that wasn't on. had to get my rhythm going a little bit. All right, so that's mag one down. All right, let's go here. Get another one in. Okay, all right, all right. Stuck one in there already for me. So I do need to adjust my dot just a little bit. It's not as on as I would like it to be, but I did it with a cheap little bore laser that I have at home without having to, you know, waste any around. So, I mean, for doing it at home, this is pretty good. I'm gonna be honest with you guys like I'm not a terrible shot but I'm also not a great one I probably couldn't make all those shots consecutively once I got my rhythm with this thing we might run a we might run a mag through it just to see but I mean damn I love this thing. I don't, if, if you guys get the chance to shoot one of these, I highly, 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 highly recommend it because they're worth every single penny. So I'm going to get some lag, uh, mags loaded up, targets pop back up, and then I'll be right back. All right, so I've got all of them popped back up. We've got two more mags loaded for the 365X Macro and one mag loaded for the 43X. Now, before any of you guys end up saying something in the comments about, why well, wasn't your red dot on if you're not carrying it, if you're carrying the gun? Well, I'm not carrying it yet. I'm still waiting on a holster that I ordered, uh, ordered one of the tier one concealed holsters. So I don't have a holster for this gun yet. So I'm not ghetto carrying a gun that does not have a safety on it or like any type of carrying a gun that doesn't have a safety if I don't have the proper holster. So not carrying it yet, but boy, can I not wait. All right, so let's go on to the 43X. I kind of don't even like, I mean, it's still going to shoot good. I don't really want to shoot it, but I'm going to shoot it anyways, just for the video. All right, so I saw a couple rounds go really all over the place. Um, now all the other ones were, you know, pretty fluid, pretty fast. I do use this gun a lot, so yeah, I'm a little bit faster with it, but give me some time with old SIG right here, with old P365, P365 macro. We're gonna have a lot of fun. Me and that gun are gonna have a lot of fun. So yeah, um, probably gonna end up having some work done to this thing. I would really like to have, uh, you know, optic cut put on it, maybe uh, put a different slide on it or have some work done to the slide so I can port it or something along those lines, because this thing makes this thing feel very obsolete. Like. So yeah, let's, let's move on. Let's run two more just for fun because I love this gun. See, I can very easily engage the ones that are further out with this gun. Um, now on this one, I'm gonna try to just I'm gonna try to put one on target and just dump it pretty much as fast as I can. See how many of them stay on target. So I would say that not these two, but that one right there is pretty, you know, pretty good self-defense distance. So we'll just, uh, we'll go for that one. I don't know about 
y'all, but I heard Christmas bells are ringing. If you're looking for a new EDC setup, any type of carry gun, if you're looking to upgrade, I highly, highly, highly recommend one of these. I'm in love with it. I mean, I'm, I'm absolutely in love. Like I said earlier in the video, I have been carrying Glocks my entire life. My entire, my, my, the whole time I've been able to carry a gun, that's what I've been carrying, as simple as that. <sighs> this thing just changed the game for me, changed the game a lot, so yeah. If you get a chance, check them out. They're absolutely awesome. Also, just for the hell of it, I wanna thank Moss Pond again because without them, this video would not be possible. And technically, I wouldn't even be on this range because I wouldn't know the person that I'm filming with. So big thanks to them. Big thanks to you. Love you guys. Please keep coming back. I promise I'm gonna start doing more stuff. Life has revolved and we're going good again. You know, hit a couple snags, medical stuff and personal stuff, but we're good to go now, I promise gonna make a lot of cool stuff for you guys it's gonna be like the glory days times 10 so um blooper damn you cars